everybody, James with My Breeder Supply and Love My Pups. So, um, I want to, we're going to talk about welcome boxes and we're going to be talking about our product and how it adapts to whatever you can come up with. So, what we use is a wire crate that we buy on Amazon for about 65 bucks. And for a Frenchie, it's a 42 by 28 crate. For a bigger dog, like a German Shepherd, then you get the 48 by 30 crate, which is about 75 bucks. But I've got a lot of people who are using Dura whelps, uh, quick whelps, easy whelps, and building their own. And so that's what this is addressing today. So first thing is, is I constructed this box very quickly out of uh, one sheet of 7 16 OSB, oriented strand board. It's about $10 at Lowe's. And the I'm not going to tell you the plans for it because you can figure this out, but basically I just cut slots so it goes together like this. There's no screws, it all comes apart, it's super easy to do. And if you go look on the internet, you'll see a number of people who are showing you how to build this. And then I've got a door in here so mom can get in and out. All right. And you can get inside there with the pups. This is big, this is 40 inches by 40 inches. Um, too big, I think, for a Frenchie, really. What do you think, Tammy? A bit too big for a Frenchie, probably? Yeah, yeah. but that's about the size of the Dura Wilt. Yeah, right. Okay, so Huge. then here's the secret. Takes up a lot of room. You go buy a 4x8 sheet of what is called coroplastic. The place to buy it is Home Depot. It's 20 bucks a sheet. And this stuff, I'm going to show you some scraps here. This stuff is really stout stuff. Did I bring a knife with me? I probably didn't. I meant to. Anyway, it's really stout stuff. You can simply cut it with a knife. Cut it with a sharp knife or, or, or a box knife. It's easy to cut. And it bends. So you can see you can see that it bends because of the corrugation. So it bends. If you're going to bend it the other way, you make a little slot, a little slit down the side of it, then it bends the other way. All right. So I took my sheet and I cut it so that I got a floor. I got this for insulation purposes. So come in here, Tammy. You can see this pop in here. There's my floor. Yeah. So that just gives and, you... And you would paint it more than what you've done. You yeah, just did a I just had job. some paint laying around. I just In case somebody it. thinks that this is what you did for the, the, professionally. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there you so, go. So, <laughs> hey, I'm not a cabinet. I can throw some wood together, but I'm a butcher. I'm a wood butcher. I know, so, quick and fast. I mean, That's you know, what quick, it looks like. I mean, it's quick and fast. Look, I, I'm not advocating that a person necessarily builds their own at all. The point here is I want to show you how we, you can use our system on anything you come up with. All right, so we built this, and how to do that, $10 in it so far. Bought a $20 sheet of coroplastic. And here's the other half of it. And you can see, I stuck on the bottom of this already, our heat tape. So you, when you order our heat tape, you can order any size you want. We'll custom build it for you. Here's one that's for a 42 by 28 crate. There it is. Got a bit in the corner there. Yes. That's for a 42, 42 by 28 crate. You peel off the backing. The other videos that show you how to install it. And it installs literally in a minute. It's just super easy to install. Anyway, 3M tape with a, with a heater in it. It's solid as heck. You can't hardly get this off there. Right. But this is going to be on the underneath of this floor. We don't want the puppies getting to this. All right, so here we go. Or mama dog. Or mama dog. And so why are you coming here for a second, Tony? Okay. You'll see I drilled a hole. Just look down that corner there. I drilled another hole in this corner down here, and that's where the wire is going to go through. So there's a hole right there, like a little mouse hole. Right. Yeah. So here comes this. So we'll pop this in. Here's the thermostat. I've unplugged that. So I'm going to get this to go in that corner over there. I'm going to lift the corner of this up. And I'm going to pass that plug wire through that hole, that slot that I made. So there it goes. That's easy enough. Yeah. I like the cage so much better. It's not as bulky. Right. Not but, as I mean, again, heavy. this is, you know, if you've got big dogs, or if you're just a do-it-yourself yeah. kind of a guy, then, you know, you can do it. It's going to take you, I mean, honestly, I mean, I, I don't think I want to spend the time to do this again. But this is just Let's for everybody. Let's see where the cord came out. Yeah, the cord came out. Right there. Okay, here this goes. Why don't you just do this? Here it goes. It's there it is. Right down in there. It's down in there. Nice fit. Um, if anything poops or pees, you've got a containment area for it. It's not going to go on your floor. 
because you've got a nice little tray that we've now built. Now this then plugs into the thermostat you get. By the way, we've got a new thermostat now, which we're going to start to include in the new shimmers. It does both Fahrenheit and centigrade. The old one only did, there's a pent temperature probe that tells it how hot it's all getting so it can shut the thing down when it gets the correct temperature. And we'll just put that on. Yeah, the hook on there. There's another hook on there. So we're just going to plug it into 110. We have versions available for overseas for 240 volt and plugs that are right to go with them. And guess what? It's hot out here today. And that's why it's reading 90 degrees already. So we're going to set this up. So we can set it up to read in centigrade or Fahrenheit. That's super nice. We want to set the temperature, we hit the set button. And you can see I've got it set for 103. If I want to make it a bit colder, I've got it set for 99. Leave everything alone and, and it remembers the setting. So if you unplug this or you have a power outage, it doesn't have to be reset. It knows exactly where it'll it was. It'll quit blinking up. once it reaches the temperature, right? That's well, it's just—it's actually it'll st it'll stop blinking when it when it thin thinks I've finished programming it. This will take a couple of seconds. Okay. And then it'll show the current temperature, which is going to be about 91. And there it goes. I heard it. Well, just a few more seconds here. There it is. There we go. Bingo. So there yeah, we go. That's going. It's lower. Yeah. So we're all, we're yeah. already at temperature. We're already up there. Yeah. We're already there. Okay. So. Um, and then the little light goes out if it turns off. And it's going to drop here in a second. It's because we just programmed the thing. It's just now catching up to the cell. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, it's so now the down. pig rail. So now the pig rail. Where you can buy pig rail adapters. Got a new system for this. Here's the you get four of these. If you opt for these, it's $16. You get four of these guys. And you can see how they all sit. There it goes like that with the appropriate piece of pipe to make it fit correctly. So I'm just going to put two pieces. Now you go buy the pipe. Like this. Yes. You buy the pipe. We supply the adapters. The piece of pipe, five bucks. All right. So what you do is you've got a little chart. You measure the inside of your cage. Mm -hmm. You subtract seven inches. Cut the pipes that length and then check it out. Super easy. It's stuck on that piece. Yeah. yeah. I know. It's like, I've got to wrestle it a little bit. What's well, a big box? It is a big box. Yeah. There it goes. And there it is. Bingo. There's your big pig rail. So now, I'll just hop in here. If my foot is a puppy, it goes underneath here. Mum backs up against a puppy. She hits this railing here, and this is solid stuff. This is big solid stuff. They're not gonna, they're not gonna break that. So the puppy. Even on your big the, dogs. Even on big dogs. Yeah, that's one and a half inch PVC. So pretty simple. But the, the point here is, we want to show you that we have solutions for people who have built their own crates. And here we go. Here's the temperature. We set it for 99. Little red lights on. When it gets up to 99, the temperature will go off, and it'll just keep. It'll, it'll bounce between 100 and. You know, 98. Um, so it's really straightforward. I'm not sure what it, there it goes. Temperature, see the little thing just went off? Yeah. And it'll start cooling down here. Okay, so there it is. Um, yeah, what else, Tammy? Anything else we've missed? No. Whole thing comes apart when you're finished. You can put it underneath, all this goes flat. All the pipe comes undone. There's no screws in anything. Pretty simple. Um, and I can, uh, I can see a Labrador. Yes. A bigger dog in here, yeah, right? Exactly. Like 60, yeah, five it's a bit big for a Frenchie, here. isn't it? A Frenchie needs something yeah. more like that width. Right. And then while we're here, let's just mention also our incubators because if you're having puppies, it's all about being prepared. Well, let's just talk about this thing. Why does this work so? By the way, we just got our received our patent on this, so we've now our patent pending is now actually patented. Put it down. I'm going to talk about this first. Oh, okay. So, so we'll talk about this in a second. So, how does this work? So the answer is, is that mum has no extra heat at all. There's no heat in the middle of this. Mom has already got a fur coat right. on. She wants no extra heat. No heat lamp. No heat lamp. That's what we burns up mama and can sunburn mama yes. and puppies too. Right, we don't like heat lamps. Okay, so. So it's nice and cool in the center, warm on the edges, underneath the pig rail where the babies will go. So what happens is the babies are either nursing on mom, they're getting heat from mom. When they stop nursing, they don't like this relatively cool floor. 
they start moving around and they accidentally bump into the area where the heat is, which right. is underneath the pig rail. Right. So they are right. now in absolutely the safest place they could possibly be. They're under the pig That's rail the phone number you and they then contact. stay there. Okay, Tammy's already beat me to it. So no, here's... I'm showing the name. Yes, so this guy here is our portable incubator. Again, you plug this into either your car cigarette lighter adapter or you plug it into a household current. We provide you adapters for both. So it can be traveling as you're going to the vet, take it inside with you to the vet, go ahead and keep it warm as you're driving to the vet. So it's already warm where the babies can go in it. When you get to the vet, plug it into their outlet. And again. 110, plug in, or 220 the, volt. Yeah. Um, yeah, or just. overseas. Just. Yeah. This is, we, anytime we go to the vet, anytime we have a C-section, we are taking this with us. Anytime we have a puppy that's weak or needs some extra help, it's staying in here. Puppies can stay in, now this is regulated, so it's, it's thermostatically controlled, so you can leave puppies Open in here. Open it up again, because it's so easy to clean. Yes, this whole thing Plus, is. you put your oxygen, set up oxygen for in there, if you yes. need it for your babies. That yeah, no, so good no openings home. anywhere to get dirt or, or poop in. No fans to quit, no lights to stop working. It's all solid state. You can drop this thing, it'll keep on working. Yeah. It's very, 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 very yeah, robust. You can leave it plugged in for five days after you bring it home if you want. Well, we do. Just in case. That's what well, we do, I know it? we do. Yeah. But... We leave it plugged in for a couple of weeks. Just in case there's a problem with a puppy, we've got a place to put a puppy quickly if it needs to be warmed up. Yeah. So... Yeah. And it doesn't take long to warm it up. No. James just likes going ahead and leaving it in. Yep, leave it plugged in. Yeah. Safety yes. reasons. Yeah, we, yes. So there it is. Um, you know, what have I got in this? I spent $10 on the wood. I spent $20 on the uh, car plastic. I spent. And how long did it take you? $5. Well, more than I want to talk about. I mean, that's the problem with it is, is that, you know, it always, it always takes longer than you think. I mean, you know, the, the longest thing was painting it for the crappy job I did of painting it. That was yeah. the longest it was painting it. <laughs> Actually cutting the wood on Did a Did you table say crappy saw. job? I say crappy job. A painting? On the, so Not on. Jimmy. It's so <laughs> out here. Cheers, everybody. This is just coke half, half not. <laughs> um, yeah, so the longest time I was painting it, I probably spent 10 minutes on table saw. I took a piece of wood, I quartered it up, I cut, I cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots, and then worked out the door, and that was it. So it's really pretty simple to make, but again, I like the homemade, excuse me, the buy on Amazon crate. You can lock your girl up in there. She'll so happy to be in there. There's no chance of getting out. No but, chance of mama dog jumping out of here, maybe taking a puppy with her and hiding it. Right. <laughs> if you need to go to the store, you know exactly where your dog's at when it is in a But if you've, if you've got a bigger one, Quick Whelp makes a really nice crate. I think it's about 240 bucks, which if you can see the time and effort you'd have to put in it to make it yourself, it's probably well worth it. But I really like their crate. It's all made out of plastic. There's nothing, it's just a really nicely constructed, and looks so much nicer than this. So if you're gonna build one, fine. If you're not gonna build one, I like the, uh, I like the quick whelps. Or go buy the crate on Amazon. Um, that was it, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, bye everybody. And this is www.mybreedersupply.com, also www.lovemypups.com. Yes, exactly. And uh, our phone numbers are there. You can call us anytime. Got questions? Need help? Yes. Don't to and remember, phone. we are Central Time here. Yes. Yeah, so what Tammy's getting at here is, <laughs> if you live in California. 10 o'clock in the evening is probably a little late to be called. Or 11 o'clock your time yes, is it, late. Yes, that's in New York. That's fine, because normally, calls, you know, yeah. by 11 o'clock, we've hit the sack, so. Well, yeah, right. or before. But, yes, yeah. thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.